let me spend a couple minutes making sure my camera is set the way I'd like. I think it's fine. Yes, you tell me. Everything look okay on your end? If so, then let's get this evening started. So, it's a special, special night. Um, trying something a little different this time around. Making it a special kids night. It is um, June 25th. June 25th, 2018. So, when I see y'all next week, it will be July. It's just like crazy to me that next week will be July. Yeah, halfway through the year. And of course, I've seen so many posts today saying, in exactly six months, it's gonna be Christmas. Hmm. Usually I'm excited about it, but this year, you know, things are a bit weird. Um, we may not be living here in six months. We may have moved on, we may be here, we don't know. It's not fun. Anyway, so it is a special kids night. So. I'm going to avoid talking about all the stuff that, you know, adults kind of like talking about. I missed y'all last week. Really missed y'all last week. It was a great week, but I will wait and talk about that maybe next week, if I remember. Anyway, special kids night. So, hi! If you are a child and joining me, I would love for your mom or your dad or you to say hello, so I know who is joining me this evening. My name is, well, my name is Amanda, but most people call me Amanda. Um, at the moment, I am living in Montana. Um, I like to say I'm from Alabama. Um, I'm living here in Montana with my husband, my dog, my dog Riley. I taught pre-K, I taught four and five-year-olds, for um, 14 years. Yeah. Yeah. I had a room up to 36 of them. So I taught four and five year olds and um, other things I like to do. I like to do puzzles. I like to craft. Yeah. I like to do a lot of things. But usually every Monday night, I am on here on Facebook. Um, Telling your moms and dads, usually your mom and dads, um, some fun recipes, some tips, some crafts, um, help them organize, all sorts of random things that you know adults kind of like and they need help with. So, we're not doing that tonight because kids don't care about how you're going to organize your home. Kids don't like necessarily to hear about recipes for dinner. They want some fun, messy crafts. They want some fun recipes. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. All right, so before we get started, because I know people are still kind of, you know, trying to join in, I found a couple of jokes. I like jokes. I like jokes a lot. The cornier, the better. The sillier, the better kind of thing. So I'm gonna do those while we wait for people, you know, to you know join in or whatever. I typed them out in case, for some reason, you don't quite understand what I'm saying. I'm from the south, so it can be difficult to understand sometimes what I'm saying. All right, first up, what did the zero say to the eight? Nice belt. Ah, you get it. That belt? Yep. Nice belt. <laughs> okay. Why do cows wear bells? Because their horns don't work. If you just heard my dog gag in the background, I'm sorry. I don't know what he's eating. <sighs> okay. <laughs> what do you call an alligator in a vest? This may have been my favorite one. An investigator. Yep, that's right, an investigator. And the last one, 
which I think will probably be the most popular one because I know how y'all like Frozen Elsa. Yep. Why can't you give Elsa a balloon? Because she will let it go. Let it go. Yep, she'll let it go. There you go. All right, so I think if anybody has wanted to join us this evening, they are here. Yep. Okay, here we go. So tonight, usually I make something yummy for your moms and dads, but I'm doing something yummy for you guys and you little kids that are joining me this evening. And who doesn't love milkshakes? Milkshakes. I love milkshakes. And we're making an awesome one this evening. I've never made it before, but we're going to make it. We're going to make a milkshake this evening. A cotton candy milkshake. I have this great big bag of cotton candy that I bought on Friday. It's been very difficult for me to not dig into it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what you need in order to make it. You need two cups of strawberry ice cream. You need a fourth cup of milk. You may need a little bit more than that. You need some blue food coloring and then some extra stuff, some frosting, some cotton candy, some whipped cream, some sprinkles, whatever good stuff you want to put on it. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this icing and I'm going to take a spatula, any kind of icing you guys want. Now, there's different ways to do this. Now, before I do any of this, of course, don't go into your mom and dad's kitchens without asking. Please get permission. I don't want to be, I don't want you guys to blame me for saying that, um, well, Mandy told me to do it, and y'all, I've already messed it up. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a messy night, y'all. You're going to put icing on the outside rim of your glass. It's gonna be a messy night, y'all. I'm sorry. Go ahead and, like I said, make sure you get your mom and dad's permissions because the last thing you want to do is make it all messy and then get in trouble. And I don't like for anybody to get in trouble. Okay, so I put icing around the edge of that glass. I have a bowl of sprinkles. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take this glass. It's got icing all over the inside. Ah, I don't like that, but guess what? It's okay. And I'm gonna dip that glass into the sprinkles and look what happened. Yep. All the sprinkles are all over that glass. Okay, now we're going to set this aside and hopefully they don't fall off while we are making our milkshake. There is a big lob of icing on the... Yep, just like that. Yep. Okay, so a blender. Again, do not do this unless you get your mom and dad's permission. A blender can be very dangerous and it has a very sharp blade at the bottom. So in order for you to use it, you need to get mom and dad's permission. All right, so what you're gonna do is you are going to measure out two cups of strawberry ice cream. And I probably should have done this before because this is going to take a little while. It probably didn't have to be exactly two cups. Milkshakes are um, fun like that. I mean, the ingredients do not have to be exact. Yep. I'm sorry, y'all. This will probably take a moment. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to put the whole pint up in there. But you need two cups of strawberry ice cream. And I'm sure there's somebody like, I'm not good with the math skills, but I'm sure there's somebody like on the side of me, like, you know, Amanda, two cups is a pint. I don't know. Whatever. All right. So two cups of strawberry ice cream. You need a fourth cup of milk. I think we're going to need a little bit more. I have not used this blender in a few years, so hopefully it works. You're going to blend it up. 
Let's see. Blitz. I don't know if I need to um, push it all down up in here. What? Yep. Now, kids, if you're making this at home with your mom and dads, hopefully they know that this may work. ice cream I bought too which is possible if it's older ice cream sitting in the um, freezer at your store guess what it will um, be a little frostbit alright so we're going to say that's good or whatever alright so you're going to take half of it Maybe. Okay. This is why I said you probably need a little bit more milk. Because I didn't think a fourth cup would be enough milk. Add another, you know, fourth to half or whatever. We're going to try this again. a bit too much milk but guess what that's okay so half of it in the cup half of it still in the blender and what I'm gonna take is blue food food coloring and I'm gonna stick a couple drops in there do you know what happens when you mix blue and red and pink together hopefully it makes like a blue color. I may have put too much blue in there. See? What? What's it doing? Yep. Alright, so I have some almost complete. I am throwing milkshake stuff all over the place. Alright, so there we go. So note to yourself. Milkshakes may not be the thing I need to do with kids. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to unplug it. And see if I take the base off. Move this out of the way. So now I've got my fancy cup over here. That's right. So what we're going to do is we're going to layer it. So I'm going to pour in my... Blue is actually looking a little gray, kind of gross looking. I'm going to add in my pink on top. I'm going to add in the blue. And then, you know what? When I was a pre-K teacher, we tried out these recipes and these science projects and stuff all the time. And guess what? They didn't always work out. And that's okay and fill it up right there. All right, so it looks kind of cotton candy-ish, doesn't it? Okay, no, not really. It looks all kind of blue and weird. Oh, wait, no, right there it does. See? Blue, pink, blue, pink. All right, now what we're going to do, let me move some of this stuff out of the way. We are going to take 
whipped cream. Who does not love whipped cream? I love whipped cream. <laughs> I will take it straight. Just like that. Just like that. Yep. Just like that. All right, so what we're gonna do, Yep, just, there we go. Where did my bowl of sprinkles go? They're right here. Here we go. And I'm gonna put this over the sink because I don't want sprinkles going all over the place. Boom, just like that. And then if you want, guess what you can do? Take some cotton candy, put it right there on the side. Guess what we just made? A cotton candy milkshake. Doesn't it look pretty? Yep, so. And that is pretty awesome. Yep, yep. Okay, so because I think I just spent like a ton of time doing that, we have to like go through these like really quick. I gotta clean off my counter a little bit because I got frosting and sprinkles and milkshake all over the place. Okay, so who loves to paint? Well, tonight we are painting, but we are not using, we're not using any paintbrushes. Well, one of them is kind of like a paintbrush, but not really a paintbrush. I'm glad that if you that, that I'm making Tessa laugh because um yeah yeah okay so okay so tonight before we get started we are going to take some paint here one two three how many one two three four five I have six colors and I'm going to put paint on each plate now we're probably going to go through this like really fast because I want to make sure that I um. Go through all of them because I like them all and this is my thing and I can do whatever I want and I want to make sure I show you everything. So we got yellow, green, orange, blue, purple. If I can find the opening, I've already got paint on me and ooh, guess what just happened? Ah! Ooh, if you know me, you know, this does not make me happy. Okay, and some pink. Okay, so before we move further, you know, this is what's funny, is I actually kind of go through and write, like I how I'm gonna do, like a script, like how I'm gonna do this evening. And I have gone completely off the rails. This is the problem with me being a pre-K teacher is I get like an idea of how I want to do it and then I just do whatever I want to do. Yeah, so, okay, before we move further, I'm going to show you guys, again, like I said at the very beginning, you can't do any of this without your mom and dad's permission. So, I'm going to take some plastic, where is my rag? And if you guys are commenting, I am sorry. I am trying to speed this along so I don't take up like forever in a day. All right, so if you're gonna do any kind of painting, you want to make sure that you put something underneath what you're doing because guess what? It doesn't matter how hard you try, paint, get everywhere. It somehow in the tiniest speck ends up on your hand and then it ends up elsewhere. So, all right, one more thing. I put the cover down. I'm gonna show you guys. If you don't have an old t-shirt, I'm wearing a t-shirt this evening. I don't mind it getting messy. If you don't have an old t-shirt that you don't mind getting messy, let me show you. Black garbage bag, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole in the top. This Facebook Live, yeah, it's gonna take too long. I'm sorry, y'all. Yep. 
I planned it. I promise you I did. You're going to cut a hole in the top. You are going to cut a hole in each side. And the top that um, is closed. In the top that is closed. And the other side. This is like, okay, you have to ask your mom and dad about this. But if they um, watched Gallagher in the, like, 90s, he was a comedian that liked to take these great big sledgehammers and burst um, um, watermelons with them. Just kind of like that. Again, do not do this unless you have your mom and dad. I don't want you sticking your head inside of a garbage bag without your mom and dad. This is dangerous, yeah. Okay, so, I've made myself like, there we go, a cover. Yep, styling, aren't I? I can stick like a belt on it and be like, oh, cool. Okay, so here we go. First up, like I said, I'm going to go through this like really fast because... I know I'm already spending too much of your all's time. All right, so first painting technique. This does take a tiny bit of, um, if Alexa starts talking here in a second, I'm sorry, y'all. I don't know why she's lit up blue. Mm. Anyway, right, first paint, painting technique, super, super simple. Probably one you already know. Any kind of stencil you want. I just have these right here on hand. You can get letter stencils, whatever. Take a piece of paper. If you've ever seen these little sponge painters, they go at Walmart, a bag of them for like two, three bucks, whatever. All you do, position your stencil where you want to and stamp it on there just like that. And I completely just went like all over the place because like I said, I'm in a hurry. But isn't that like the coolest butterfly ever? Yep, it is. It is. Funniest butterfly ever. Best one ever. Yep. So, letters, numbers, colors, shapes, whatever stencils you can find, guess what? Same thing. All right. So, we're going to move on to the next thing. I'm going to throw that to the side. Y'all, this is going to be like the messiest night ever on my, this whole shindig. All right. Next one, my, I made my thingy, I need a belt. Let me make it a little more stylish. Next one, I got a pan. Go to, get your mom and dad to take you to the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, whatever dollar store you got. And you can get these little cookie sheets for a dollar. Piece of paper, I already... Got out little pieces of um, tape. Putting tape on the back of it. Boop. Put it down just like that. There. Tape to the bottom. Now what I'm going to do. I'm sorry y'all if I'm going too fast. Like I said, I'm trying to. I lost some scissors. I'm trying to get through all these at one time. Maybe I planned too much this evening. I don't know. Maybe I thought too much. I don't know. Okay. So, also at the dollar store, store you can get bags of marbles. Who doesn't love marbles? Get a marble. Drop it in whatever paint you want. I'm going to drop one in each color. Yep. Just like that. I'm going to take it and roll it around a little bit. I am not Steve Spangler, y'all. If you don't know who Steve Spang Spangler is, look him up. He is like the master of like mess and science and everything. I'm a little too obsessive. Ooh, got a candy stuck to that. Ring. I'm a little too obsessively clean about that. All right, so put your marbles into the paint. Drop them wherever you want onto your paper. I am dropping this. You know, I, I put this plastic down. It's not helping that much. Hey, put it down there and then all you do, and I have lost a marble. Amanda is losing her marbles. Just like that. 
Keep going until you are done. Oh, y'all. I'm having issues tonight. Okay, so. <laughs> the parents that are watching and know me, guess what? Mm, you know the chaos is going in my head. Okay, so. That's it. How cool is that? The thing is, there's no way to make two of them that look the same. So there we go. I'm going to put that to the side. This is going to be like, seriously, this is like the messiest night ever. And I don't know why I have this paper towel. It ain't doing nothing. There we go. All right. Next one is, I got to look at my list here. Okay. Okay. This one's actually kind of simple. Get yourself a canvas. You can do a regular piece of paper if you want, but the canvas um, works better. And you get yourself some painter's tape. You have to ask your mommy, your moms and dads about painter's tape. There, there is a difference. You can use masking tape, but I have found better luck with um, painter's tape. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take you can make whatever you want with it. So I just, I put off the corners there. I'm going to make an A because guess what? My name starts with Amanda and I want it to be all about me right now. So I'm going to make an A about like that. And yep. Now, like I said, I'm trying to speed this along so I don't make this a two hour long video. Nobody wants to sit here and watch this for two hours. All right, and then what you're gonna do is take whatever sponge brush you want, and you're just gonna dot all over, all over. I'm going to use purple, I love purple. And ultimately, guess what, guys? Y'all just want to make sure it dries completely before you um, take it off. Oh, I did that one all the way. And I'm going to show you guys this here in a second if I can quickly. Maybe I can double duty. Oh, that's not going to be as pretty. But guess what? Let me go around the A. So you guys can see what will happen. So you just want to make sure you cop, you um, cover the whole thing. And this is a skill right here. If you were a teacher, guess what? You probably walked around with masking tape on your arm all the time. Guess what? That's what I did. All right, so. This is not done because I still have loads of white space. But when it completely dries, you are going to peel off the tape. And this is, I guess, I guess it's called tape resist art. You can do anything, like I said, smiley faces, numbers, your initials. Um, Peel that off. Peel that off. Yep. Yep. Again, don't do this without your mom or dad. But there we go. Seriously, quick and simple, just like that, over and done with. Yep. So pretty. All right, I got one more for y'all. I'm. Um, yeah. So I got. I have to take some of this paint off my hands because there is like. A build up, like if I don't walk, rinse my hands off, um, I won't be able to work because my hands will um, dry. Well, okay, okay, last one. Ooh. Okay, here we go. Grab your little box, any kind of box. It's kind of similar to the marble art. So grab yourself a box, grab some ping pong balls, grab some ping pong balls. You roll them around in the paint, just like that. I'm trying to speed this along, y'all, so I'm sorry. I've got paint all over my counters, and it's making me very sad right now. Okay, 
on the inside of my box, I have taped an in a piece of paper on the inside. Now, my box is only a tad bit bigger than my um, ping pong balls. Your look is going to look completely different if you get a bigger box. So, the bigger box, put your paper on the inside. In fact, maybe we'll try that in a second. Maybe. Oh, it's six o'clock, y'all. Do you want me to keep going or are you ready to leave? Because um, I can do this real quick if y'all don't mind. Okay, right, so I took a box. This is just like a, you know, a, you know, a postal box or whatever. Piece of paper tape on the inside. I'm going to throw my ping pong balls on the inside. I guess if you wanted to throw your marbles in there, you could. I'm going to close it up. use this box after. Okay, so here we go. I don't want to dump these out, but guess what? Oh, there it goes. Ah! You're on the floor! Oh! This lady's head is exploding. Okay, so like I said, fairly similar to the um, marbles, different effect. Now, if you don't mind entertaining each other for a second, I have to go and grab those balls that just went and landed on the other side of my kitchen. So, please stay with me. Oh my goodness, is it on the rug? I hope not. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. Last one. I'm going to put these balls back in there. I'm just going to roll them around. At this point, my poor husband's going to come home and be like, what happened in his? Because it is a pigsty. It looked like someone played paintball in here. I should have planned this better. I thought I was good at planning it. I did not. Okay, so the last box, because y'all, a couple of y'all said keep going. Hey, right, here is the box. Do a different box. I'm going to drop those balls in there. And you know what? Just because I want to, I'm going to drop the marbles in there too. You know why? Because I can. This is my thing, and I can do whatever I want to do. Again, kids. This is you. You can't do this unless you got your mom and dad's permission. Because this is my house, and while I'm okay with... <laughs> that was funny. I had paint on my hands, and I thought I just got some more hair. Okay, this is... I got paint all over the place. You do not want to put paint all over your parents' house. That would make them really mad. Okay. So, here we go. I got a box. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. I just threw my paper in there. I'm going to close it up. All right, here we go. This is wearing me out. I haven't taught school in like a long time. So, all of this is like tiring. All right, you ready to see it? Are you sure? Here we go. It's a bit now, guess what? You remember when I just did that tape resist a few minutes ago and I put that um, the tape with my initial on the inside? If you did that and then put it on the inside of the um, box, there you go. Cool, huh? Yeah, okay. We made it. That's, that's it. Yeah. So, I have a lot to clean up. I don't even know where to start. I'm going to take a picture here in a little bit of how messy this is. If you know me, this is driving me daddy. But guess what? It's okay. Because 
It was a fun night. I really enjoyed tonight. And it's the first time that I held a kids' night. And I'm hoping to do another one. In fact, I've planned a whole bunch of um, Facebook Lives for the next couple of months. And I think I've got another one for um, October. Like a spooky science type night. So, guess what? We can do this all again in a couple months. And my... My drop, my my protecting cover is falling. All right, so for you moms and dads, not for your children. Um, next week we're talking about Fourth of July. Talk about Fourth of July. We're making some fun sparkler drinks for adults, and um, we're going to talk about some fun. Um, y'all, I can't even think right now. Um, so fun outdoor games that you can like easily whip up in case you're having any, um, parties or gatherings, um, this summer, you know, barbecues, 4th of July picnics, whatever. So with all being said, seven minutes past the time I like to hold y'all. Thank you for sticking around. Hope you guys had a great night. Hopefully we'll see you guys next week. Please, guess what? Before we go, if you are a child and you tuned in this evening, do me a favor and send me an idea of something you'd love to see me do in the future. I would almost do anything. Almost. I'm smart. I don't like to do anything silly or that breaks the law. But if you're a child, please send me your ideas. And um, maybe I can do another night sooner before, um, you know, October. So with all that being said, hope you all had a great night. I had a great time tonight. It was fun kind of getting back to my pre-K teacher roots. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Bye, y'all.